When is it okay to lie to your audience? The answer to that unusual question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. As I continue to listen to the book Storyworthy on audio, the author Matthew Dick asks an interesting question. When is it okay to lie to your audience? He then admits that the word lie isn't really appropriate. It just is an attention grabber. What he really means is when is it okay to play with the facts? The answer to that question is when it benefits the audience. In the next couple of videos, you'll hear a couple of examples of what we mean by lying or playing with the facts for the benefit of the audience. The first one is the concept of omission. One of the biggest challenges I see for storytellers is that they give way too many facts, especially backstory. Audiences today want you to get into the action fairly quickly in your stories. They want you to take us right to the point of where there's tension, there's conflict, and build that to the resolution. For example, one of my signature stories involves getting engaged in a cornfield. I've talked about this on other videos. Well, the reality of that day is that it was about an eight hour ordeal. Would you be interested in hearing me speak for eight hours about that particular event? I doubt it because I don't want to speak about it for eight hours. What we have to do is find the key elements in our stories that build the tension and the conflict until the, the climax of the story, where the story is resolved and the lesson is learned. Always keep in mind, a good story is about transformation. We want to see the character change. We want to get through that conflict, those difficulties, as quick as possible while building to the climax and then learning the lesson just like the character did. What's the best way to determine what is unnecessary and unneeded in a story? You probably guessed it. Get evaluated. Get feedback from people. Ask them. Remember, we're too close to our own stories. We think that far too many details are important. Ask the audience and they'll help you cut out those unnecessary details to use omission to develop a much better story. Tomorrow we'll talk about another idea that will help you create a cleaner, leaner story that's more concise and more entertaining for your audience. See you then.